Hey everybody, welcome back. Good morning, Luna. I'll tuck you in for the day so you can have a nice little nap there. Tico, you and I are going to go for a walk, buddy. Yes, we are. He doesn't even know what the word walk means. He just knows, do you want to... Okay, well, that didn't work either. Either way, he's looking like a fresh gentleman, and we're going to get ready to start our day, aren't we, buddy? It's graveyard day, maybe coliseum day, maybe fan mail day. Let's roll out. You see, this is what I really like about the weather. Although it's really cold and my hand is freezing as it holds this phone right now. It's gorgeous out. The sun is shining. The sky is blue. There's not a single cloud in the sky. It is beautiful out right now. You just got to be wearing a pirate cut to enjoy it. And an Oilers too, specifically. So yesterday I wore that really cool Mickey shirt. This morning I'm wearing this little Mickey hoodie so I can stay warm. Today, I'm wearing the blue Pluto shirt. Oh yeah, riding in style. Wearing my Pluto shirt. And look who's still here. Still tucked in. Get your nails out of my duvet, hey? Get your nails out of there. Get your nails out of there. <laughs> what a cute kitty. Yeah, cute kitty. Ow! Ow! You know what she did the other night? You see this railing right here? Okay, the stupid cat jumped up onto the railing. And then as she was going down, look. Nail mark, nail mark, big scratches all the way along. Nail mark, ugh, she just ruins the paint job. Dirty bugger. Yep, it's 12-12 already. Jose's brewing coffee. I don't know why I keep staying up till 2 a.m. and sleeping in. It's getting a bit ridiculous. Gonna have to change that lifestyle. She's also making cucumber, toast, and cream cheese. My sleeping schedule is messed up. I go to bed at like 2, I wake up at 7.30, I watch my videos launch at 8, I go back to sleep until about 10. So I think because I wake up for like a half an hour period, from like well, 45 minutes from like 7.30 to 8.15, and then I crash back down, it's just ruining my sleep schedule. It is ridiculous. And I'm gonna change that. No longer gonna be gonna be doing that, that that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's, that's, that's just ridiculous. Today we're going to continue working on the graveyard. I'm really excited about this. Actually, I just came up with a new concept for the fence on the side. It's essentially the same, but it's going to have some shorter fences, some broken down fences just to look like it's really rugged and stuff like that. It's going to be pretty neat. Oh, geez. I want to order the Monster Fighters Haunted House so bad now. When I look at this, I'm just like, ooh, I want to order that set. It would pair up so nicely but we're probably going to work on this and finish this but the first thing we got to do is actually go back to Weston Tomorrow. I know it was there yesterday but I got a parcel that just arrived at the uh, P.O. box and then later on today we're going to be opening all of the fan mail as well included that included in that will be that parcel so this is the fan mail that we currently have and I'm excited to check the P.O. box today let's roll on out Oh, and I almost forgot. I got to get these uh, adjusted. Turns out they are squeezing a little tiny bit too much. And I know they have the special like heat gun there that heats it up and they can flex out the arms a little bit. Just a little bit of tension right here. And after wearing them for like six hours yesterday, I actually got a little headache because of the tightness. So I'm thinking they can just flex those arms out for me. And they actually said, if you need them adjusted, come on back. So we're gonna do that as well. And then we'll be set. Jose seems to think that these glasses look like grandpa glasses. She says I look like a grandpa. That's all right, because when she has her glasses that look like this, I call her Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> Got the glasses all adjusted. They feel way better now. I'm gonna head to the P.O. box. Oh geez. Big box delivered to the P.O. box from UPS. Thanks guys. Remember that toilet I fixed the other day? I guess it needs a new flapper as well. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, picking up a new flapper for the old crapper. Out with the old, 
in with the new. This one's red and it's called Corky. Obviously, it's way better. Now it's time to open all of this fan mail. Wow, I am blown away. Like, as per usual, you guys always surprise me and I'm so grateful and appreciate it. I love that you guys love my uh, YouTube channel so much and get so much enjoyment out of it. And I can't stress enough how happy it makes me feel to have like I have this place where we can hang out together and, and build Lego together and just this community that is so so amazing I'm so grateful for that I can't wait to open this up and see what's inside so I just finished unboxing the fan mail oh my gosh oh my gosh wow wow holy Toledo like just crazy Thank you guys so much. I, I'm blown away. Now that the massive, long video files for the unboxing video is uh, transferring onto the computer, I'm going to schedule our live stream for the graveyard build starting in 40 minutes at 4 o'clock. While I wait for that stream to start, we actually had some exciting stuff just happen right now. A parcel was delivered. I should turn those lights off. A uh, parcel was just delivered and it has to do with revamping our living room. Pretty excited about this. Let's see what Jose's up to here. Oh yeah, she already pulled it out. Well, holy smokes, there's the box. Luna, look, it's a box. And we're moving our Papasan chair. I think that's what it's called. And check out this new chair that we got. Hey. That's a great spot for it right there. Perfect. Just kidding. It's going where I'm going to stand, where I'm standing right here. So now we have our couch. This hodgepodge table here, which has to go back on our cute little cabinet over there. Our chairs and bench for when the new table arrives, which actually should be this weekend. So this chair showed up perfectly in time. Look at that, eh? That's pretty fancy. Oh my gosh, I feel like a grandpa sitting in this chair here. It's decently comfortable. It's got good good posture. It ain't no uh, Papasan chair. Oh yeah, this is more my style right here. It's good, we got another piece of furniture for the cat to run. Yep. Oh, I gotta eat some dinner though. Actually, some some lunch, I guess. I can eat some more of that pizza that we had the other day. Free stream snack with the guy here. Hey, buddy. You itchy man. Stella, did you come over here because you like my shirt? Or did you come over here because I just ate pizza? Huh? I just finished live streaming and also finished editing the fan mail unboxing. Check out all the clip cuts. Cut, 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 cut. <laughs> I'm actually getting really good at editing them though I'm quite fast. And rather than reading every letter word for word, what I do is read it thoroughly and then I paraphrase it. It makes it so much easier than me stuttering, learning how to read. But check this out. This is the graveyard. It's not done yet. It's coming along. What else do we have to do? We have to add some mini tombstones throughout. I think like tombstones all throughout here would look pretty cool. And also uh, within reason, we're gonna add a bunch of bushes and stuff. Of course, bushes protrude off the ground quite far. So the minifigures have to be able to walk around them and through them and stuff, right? So to figure that out, but looks great. You saw that yesterday. We changed those gold studs on the front there to bars. We have the Voldemort. The Rise of Voldemort set there, I actually kept it the same, but I had to base it with some plates just so the Rise of Voldemort play effect still works. And then the Tom Riddle tombstone there. I actually took the tree and I doubled it. Added a bunch more foliage and stuff to it as well. And then over here, a little shack from the Hidden Side Graveyard set, I like doubled the size of it and added a dead tree to the top. A tree that's, I guess, dying. It's a nice added detail. We did the masonry bricks as fencing along the back. I'll probably top those with tiles and probably slope elements like cheese wedges and stuff like that to give it like a broken down look. I did end up topping or finishing the fence on the side here and topping some of it with the cheese wedges and alternating with these just to show like the fence is a little bit broken down and a little bit old. This is like a, 
a mystery graveyard that's sort of haunted, you know? It's not like a regular maintained graveyard. I use these tombstones on either side. They face one another and those are from the hidden side set as well. I think it's looking great. It just needs a little bit more refinement and then we will be done. We'll be able to place this beauty into the Lego city. Wow, it's been a crazy day already. Uh, it's now 7.30. I'm gonna finish making this video as we proceed with our night here. Not sure what the wife has in mind for us tonight, but told her I'd spend some time with her as it's a Friday night. And that video is gonna take 33 minutes to process because it's a little bit longer than your average video and then I'm gonna have to upload that. Hey everybody, check it out. Here's me being a goof looking for that thumbnail. Oh my gosh. What a goofy looking guy. What am I looking for? Oh, there I am. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, for sure, eh? Oh yeah, that smile. Haha. Oh, cool. What I do is I just take a still and then I screenshot it. Pretty cool, eh? Just getting ready to edit my screenshot on Photoshop. And I've got a ginger ale on hand. It's Inception. I'm halfway done editing this video that we're filming right now, and now we're going to continue our night. What are we doing, Jose? Mm, Anchorman. Anchorman. Good loon. Anchorman. All right. We're going to watch Anchorman tonight. That sounds like a good time. I'm going to have to go get a Molson Canadian for that. Maybe a couple. And then we'll continue editing this video after that. I might do that in the morning. I don't know. I like to launch my videos at 8. Stella, did you just jump up there on your own? You just look so pretty with your matching pillow and your nice blue chair. And Tico. You look pretty handsome, my friend. Let's go watch some Anchorman! So, are we gonna go watch Anchorman? Yes, we are. And then there's the loon. Yeah, you, sitting on the couch. What, do we buy these chairs and couches for animals or for us? Like, you guys are so spoiled. It's crazy. Unique New York. Unique New York. A few Molsons later, a couple of ginger ales as well, and uh, I told Jose to hit up the old freezer there. Check this out. A little bit of Christmas baking. Gingerbread men, like sugar cookies, brownies, chocolate cookies, shortbread. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. Woohoo! Milk was a bad choice. We just finished watching Anchorman. And now I just called the actor of Judge Dredd, Keith Urban, and I meant Carl Urban. My mistake. We're just scrolling through Netflix, seeing what we're going to watch next, because it's 11.30 at night. And I'm just going to scream downstairs and process the rest of this video that we're currently making. I think we had a pretty successful day, those glasses that I'm not wearing right now. Uh, fit me beautifully. We built that whole graveyard, which is awesome. And an incredible amount of fan mail that was just mind-boggling. Like, I don't know what to say about that. That was just crazy. Uh, I'm excited for tomorrow, which is Saturday. I know you're watching this on a Saturday, but that's tomorrow for me. Uh, we're going to live build some stuff. I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. Maybe Coliseum, maybe... Finish the uh, graveyard, just sort of chill out. And wow, we got that new chair today too. That was pretty awesome. I uh, look forward to continue building Lego with you guys in the morning and for the rest of my life. <laughs> like, subscribe, peace out. Have a good night. Bye. Good day, good night. For me, it's night. Bye.